Do you wear a football jersey in Poltergeist? It's Onyx. so iconic that we stayed away from, I think, the iconic imagery mm -hmm. in that. I mean, there's some that's unavoidable, you know, the mm -hmm. TV and the little girl in the hand. And yeah. Stuff. But that, I was just setting myself up for failure. Oh, right come there. on. You could have done it. <laughs> I, would, I think you could have pulled it off. Oh, but well, I, th thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah. I'm here with Rosemary DeWitt, who stars in Digging for Fire. It's nice to see you, Ro. Good to see you. So this movie is kind of spectacular. It's so Los Angeles. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of movies about what to do once you have kids. Like, it seems like it's people are talking about it and the kind of unique experience of raising a child in LA, the pressures of school, the pressures yeah. of life, and dual careers. And really grateful to Jake's wife, Erin, because when he pitched her the movie, I think she said, and what is the wife character doing this whole time? And they're like, well, she's home with the kid. And she's like, boo, you know, yeah. like whatever. And so I had a, a newborn at that time. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't struggling yet with that. Like I waited mm. so long to do this. Yeah. Like it's just full on. Can I just be a mom? You right. know what I mean? Yeah. All the time. And I think the pull towards many other lives and other sides of yourself is something that everyone relates to, especially when you get into an institution mm -hmm. like marriage, which is a wonderful gift, mm -hmm. but it also cuts your options off for making out with Orlando Bloom right. on a beach. Can yeah. we just say that for the moment? There is a great makeout scene on the beach. I was like, it was perfect. All right, so Mad Men is coming to an end. Yeah. All right, you were in the first season, very pivotal, uh, role as Midge. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think, where do you think Midge is now? I see her with some like big hair in the 70s or 80s and like in the downtown art gallery she's scene in New York. I don't think she left. You think she's still there? Well, and I don't, I think she's alive. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. She had a, like kind of a severe heroin problem at the time, but I think right, she right, I think right, that was right. a bad choice of a boyfriend. Right. Yeah. But yeah. it was great and all those wigs you got to wear. and So great. I mean, I can only wish for that again. Yeah.